Hey, before we start, I want to thank you to our patrons. A special honor to Eric. And I want to say thank you to Simon Sineda, David Hensel, Melina Brunner, Robert Hartl, Erich Gangel, Theresa and Reinhard Bauer. Without your help, we can't make our game Cortex and this YouTube tutorial. My name is Simon Gengel and today we want to create a very simple prop, which is probably used in every game, but yeah. I want to make a quick uh, how to do this tutorial for the prop, a wooden, a wooden box. Um, for sure barrels and wooden boxes are pretty common assets for games and we want to create this asset here for the game Cortex. Let's start with the blending before we start in Blender as well. So um, I will make quickly a screenshot to make a, a quick sketch what we are planning to do. So this concept is pretty simple. Um, when we think that this is a, a 3D object and when we want to plan the texture as well. Um, so we say this is our texture. Um, we have this is a, a unique UV layout. So I will make here a cut, here, here and here. So this will be part of the texture. This all is as well a part of the texture. So we will use this here as the A area and this will be another texture part. This will be the B area. So we have here B and the other side here will be as well A. So we will reuse this area and this as well. So let's have this texture and we will just place the A area here and be here. So we just need to cut this, 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 this and place it here and there. So then we will have here the top part of this box. This will be as well a uh, own space. This will be C. Um, and we have the bottom side, which will be not just uh, duplicated of this. Uh, I will call this D. So we have four areas. Uh, for er for nearly every side, and yeah, um, basically when we want to keep this really low poly, so this box is totally fine. But I will I want to add as well some more geometry so that we have just a little bit more mesh information about this geometry. Um, so I will probably uh, make UV seams. Uh, or UV cuts here and there, extrude them a little bit and those um, thickness um, parts of this wood plank will be just a monocolor um, space somewhere in this texture. So uh, we have here a pattern, on A is the pattern, um, pattern side and this is just uh, for this and this is as well here we have the um, we have this and this side for the texture so we will somewhere here and there need this area probably I will when I when I'm looking now at this probably it would be better to have the B side uh, here and the C side here so that we can um, make just one stroke through this. Um, so we have this here, this and this will be the top part of the uh, texture and C and D will be the top and the bottom side on the bottom part of the texture. So I think that the plan is pretty simple and the prop is as well pretty simple. Um, um, this tutorial will be mainly to create the texture, I guess. Um, so we have here Blender, our 3D space. Um, I have as well the proportion of this. When we just look quickly to Unity, um, I have made a, a very quick and rough box created with the ProBuilder tool. Um, and yeah, 
when when this has actually the correct size and when we look at this we have the a length of 1.4 meters so this is a good size and i will work with the scale as well now in blender um just um, i will activate now the screencast keys and let's do this create a cube this cube should be uh, w the radius one is a little bit too big because we have now one meter to this side and to this side and we know that it should be 1.4 so the half is 1.7 so that we get really this this size and i want to have the cube as well on the zero axis uh, so set 0 0.7 and now everything is in a good position. Switch to edit mode. Um, create new here a new view panel. And I will assign the UV editor here. Just mark now the themes. Um, and I will unwrap this now but now I want to arrange the UVs like in my plan here um, so I will bring every, sing uh, every single face now to the same size and to the same position so uh, so this is now in uh, the shade now all the same UV space um, I want to half the size now for for this because um, we want to uh, arrange now the UV faces. So let's scale the faces to the half. So press S and scale 0 0.5. Bam. I'm activating now the snipping tool um, to the grid and for now this will be, uh, will be placed here I will take this and this UV and bring it at this position then this and this one and uh, bring it here um, I will activate now as well this so that I see the rest of my UV faces as well um, then the top part I will place it in the ground here and the bottom part somewhere here. So the UV layout is done. I will save now. I will save now this file pretty quickly. The wooden box I overwrite this because the last file was wrong. Um, and I will export my UV layout as well um, basically I should activating this as well so export UV layout um, so 1k texture is pretty okay the fill opacity will brought to zero and now I will just uh, overwrite this UV layout and let's switch now to Photoshop so here in Photoshop we can now drag and drop the UV layout to, to the software. Now we can call, uh, rename this to UV okay, and I will create a new layer and just, just make this probably white so we fill everything with a color. Okay, um, I will create a new layer and I will, let's quickly, I will fill this now um, with a gray tone and we'll um, transform this a little bit and 50, 50% as well as our UV islands and I will place this here
Mm. So, one. Then, I will duplicate this. and duplicate them again so we have now four areas um, this will be A then I will need B, this will be C, and this is D. When I enable again the UV layout, basically we don't need to enable the UV layout anymore because yeah, it's pretty clear now. Um, let's bring in as well a, a image of a other created. Um, texture so I want to place here now the barrel texture the barrel texture is already finished and I will reuse I will reuse those colors so I just pick them so that we can share the same color um, I will lock them all now so that So this is better. Um, I'm wondering if this is no. Why this is not the top? <laughs> so um, I will start with this color now and. Let's guess where will be where will be the lid for this box. So I guess hmm, maybe here, somewhere here. Um, so go here and make a quick selection. So, oh, this is too long. So just. this color here okay then we will have we will have um, this part this and this and this so hmm so we have one long blanket uh, and a shorter one I guess um, so we'll place is probably like this and fill it with this color um, and just duplicate this and bring it as well to this mm, I'm not yeah this is better this was a little bit too high okay um, I want to have just this one and duplicate this and place this probably somewhere here and duplicate this again place this somewhere here now go again to the to the Wentz tool and take all of this and I should make this a little bit better to bring this to your own layer. And this layer could be as again filled with the with this color. But I want to have those elements on one layer, um, on a separate layer, so that I can modify this a little bit easier. Call this.
a wood blank and just hide the the other uh, the helping line hmm looks good so far um let's go to b create here again a new layer and and make the same here so when I watch my reference this is exactly the same the same uh, area the same pattern like this but just a little bit mirrored or flipped just but we have here on the top side a different pattern and this is the reason why I will hmm, why I will just so one two three four I will just I will just um, make it like this now I will I can change it again and again okay okay what's next I need to add just my my pattern here a little bit because I don't want to have this dark outline on the corners uh, I want to have a highlight on the corners and this and this is uh, basically the same wood blank so um, I will or I want to combine this um, I will create here and here uh, helping lines and we'll just fill this um, and keep in mind that we need to make a clipping mask for this so that it doesn't matter if we go to the other side here as well clipping mask and just take this and fill it on the other side is the same because yeah this will be repeating so on this side and here on this side as well okay let's let's look again at my my texture side so we have we have um, yeah we have this is one single wood part here and for sure this one but we have here this part this should be all one blank um, and I want to draw later here highlights um, and the, this part should be dark areas so when we are looking now at this one it is clear that we need here this should be filled because uh, later there will be the highlight as well for this one here when I want to I should make it like this because so we have now here the dark side the dark part here but mm, I forgot one pixel I guess um, and here's the corner part so 
I will need this and here we will need as well um, the color uh, leading till to this place here so this uh, should be all oh this should be all reach till the top part of this texture here and this should be again till to the edge here till to the corner okay this is looking better now um what i need to change this here as well a little bit because um i forgot this so really okay so better um but we should as well consider that the same that there will be the same on the bottom part here so what to do um, I'm, I'm going here to A and bringing this to the bottom area as well. So fill this and here as well and here as well. So, so even though we blend this a little bit, I uh, I need to imagine where are the corners and everything like this. Okay, um, what will be the next part? The next part is the side construct here. Um, I will make a new layer and make a wood plank or something like this, this size. Okay, this is on the wrong side here. And um, is it? Yeah, this is good. So, should be in a nice position. So, this is number one. And I will create the same for the other side. Hmm. Yes. That's okay. And now I will delete those sides here. This and this one. This and this one the same for this one nice okay so let's care next um, about the lid here, the lid part. Um, where's my side view? I will use this one. Just select my side here. And where's C? This is this one. I will create a new texture for this one. Uh, this should be this and now just transform it and make it this way up so we have now exactly this pattern on this side here and I guess it's okay. So this is the wood. Um, 
I will make now little groups for this so that I don't lose um, so don't uh, lose um, the layer order so this will be D A B and C and I will give it as well colors red orange yellow green um, so this is always helpful for me um, to have a, a colorized order as well let's save this now um, just that if the program is crashing um, that we have it saved so I go to props yeah, props uh, town props and I will call it wooden box PSD okay fine okay and care about care about the D sector now um, when I had to B again to this part here um, I want to just use a single tiny part of this so copy this and go to D place this somewhere here I will need the same space in the bottom side and I will rotate this now and I will need it here and here and you see that we get now this pattern from this and this side and this should be filled up like this here and here so this was a little bit too much because I don't want to have this like this at this area stage here so I will remove this again and just have this this size here when I now selecting this again so when I copy this um, and just rotate this I want to place it here and here as well so this is the ground area and we have now basically all sides prepared pretty nicely um, and go to further details soon but just um, just um, check it how this is looking like now in in blender as well so go to Photoshop the layer is saved and let's save a PNG um, go to blender and the material is already ah. let's create a new material for this and I will call this sorry matte prop wooden box assign this and create a texture and say open go to 2d 
drops, town drops, and click at this button here, and I see now that this is my correct texture, open. Yeah, for sure there's not nothing here again. Um, I will just activate the texture solid now, but now there's still nothing, so I need to activate this here as well. Okay, we have now um, the beginning of this, but I see that this is uh, this is not correctly placed, so I need to rotate this to 180 degrees. So this is a again correct. Um, this is as well wrong, but now okay, okay. This is looking good now. Okay, so when everything is fine, we can go into further details. So this is the UV layout. Oh, uh, okay. This has to be a little bit more precise because this is not fitting together correctly. So every blanket need to be the same length and so that they are fitting together here as well. So open Photoshop again and correct this here. Um, B okay basically this should be completely mirrored. So when when I'm looking at this, so I will deactivate this one now and this one as well. Um, when I'm duplicating this one and half this, bring it here. So this is the this is the half um, of this area here. Oh, uh, so this is the half. Mm. I will completely remove this and place it somewhere here um, okay we should make this probably a little bit thicker one two three and remove this one uh, close take this and make it like this so probably this should be now better um, and when I take this and flip it and place it here again everything should be better now yes this is better okay um i can now take this copy this um make this small so and bring this to c because we don't need this here anymore. So just place it at the correct position so everything is fine. And again, just make it like this. And now the every blanket has the same size and we can 
we can be sure that this is be the same than the other side here. Okay, um, I like this pattern for this one, so I will copy this and bring it to the other layer as well. Um, yes, remove this one and probably bring it here. Mm, I will do this for now with a lower opacity and I will make as well this smaller. Probably, probably like this. I see that there is not the same area here. So I need to select this and make it oh, make it a little bit broader. Okay. Um, and yes, this is looking good again. So now I need to delete some parts of here. So this one. This one, this one, here, and this, this, this one, and so. Um, let's bring this again to 100%. Um, looks good. Next part, I want to fill um, the back, the back side of this and this face. But I guess um, I I liked that the passage is a little bit less. So I just copy this and go to A and create a new layer and place here a new hmm, a new um, texture and bring the opacity down again probably I will make this really now um, smaller. This looks fine. So remove all this. And this here. Okay. This looks good. And go to B and place as well there this texture yes so um, it's a little bit darker because yeah it's in the background and so that this is not the same color um, I like this so far and now I can probably start to add here the the lighter color or this color I like this color a little bit more so for example when I'm creating here a new layer so to get the corner parts everywhere so basically I can merge those two layers um, this is the background wood By on B, I can as well merge those two, and this is as well. But care about the color. <laughs> uh, C, everything should be fine. Yes. And D, 
as well cream mm -hmm. so what this is mm, structure so I will start here now with um, layer A, also area A. Um, we have here a new layer and I will make as well a clipping mask and call this lighter wood parts. Um, this, the first, uh, the, the middle color here um, is very geometrical, everything is very Mm, clear and geometrical but now I want to make that this is a little bit more wood structure so I will not keep this form so for example uh, I want to um, I want to make the wood pattern a little bit um, yeah it's a a wood is not a clear form, so it should it should be a living form. So, for example, yeah. So, make here and there some buckles or some irregular lines, like this one here, and this is the corner part should be as well highlighted so adding some wood structure to this one now and here as well I will know that there will be a wood pattern inside of this later so I will don't make too much now so okay then here this part yeah and this is some detail work probably I will I'll fasten this up a little bit so that you see that I'm overworking now the whole texture with this highlight um, layers and I will continue with the tutorial when I come to a new part.
Well guys, I will stop here now. I will show you the next part, how I will continue with this texture. You see that the mesh is pretty simple, but the texture needs some time. If you like this little tutorial, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for further tutorials. We love the creating tutorials, but we need as well some support. Become our patron and help us to help you. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again. Cheers.